Hello and welcome to episode 28 of my Force of Nature tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on making uh, some chain traps and then taming a goblin. I want to dedicate this episode to Chaz because he pointed me in the right direction with making the chain traps. Um, this of course is the latest update to Force of Nature as of January 2017 and so we can now tame, top, tame goblins. I've never tamed a goblin before so I thought it would be interesting if I try. Maybe I'll die, maybe I won't. Um, okay, to, to make this, first of all you need to make chain traps. Your standard traps are no good for a goblin as denoted by application on so you can see now that it says application on and it can be used on a cow sheep goat pig chicken and rooster but of course we're gob we're going goblin hunting so in order to do that you go to your anvil and go to recipes and in the recipe list now you'll see there's chains and if you click on the chains you'll see it requires either one iron ingot or one copper ingot. So all them copper coins you're getting, you can turn into copper bars if you've not managed to mine any copper. Um, for one ingot, you will get five chains. For um, when you go, well, actually I'll wait till I get to the workbench. So there we have it, one ingot will get you five chain links. So I've already took the liberty of making some so you didn't have to wait for me to do that. Okay let's now go to the craft table which is where you make the chained traps. So if we go here and we take a look at the recipes down this list you'll see is now a chained trap and if we click on that you will see the application for the chained trap is the goblin hence taming the goblins so you will see that um, it costs one chain link to make the chained traps and you can see that I'm get making a load up over here So I'll wait for it to get to 15 and then we'll go hunt ourselves a goblin and see how we get on. Hopefully 15, well 15 should easily be enough providing I manage. Of course when you want to go tame a goblin you're going to need to solo. You're going to need just one. One goblin. If there's a group of them you're going to need to to eliminate all but one. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to take, uh, you know, to tame one, whether how many traps I have to throw. I'm guessing two traps, just like any other animal, but we'll find out. Of course, if it's very quick, if it's just one throw of a chain trap, then it is possible to do more than one goblin. Um, I want to find out what, how many goblins we can tame. Can we just tame one? Do they then act? as a follower and help us. Um, if they stay tamed, that's really cool. Do we need to feed them? Lots of questions going on here in my head and no doubt you'll have lots of questions. So I'm going to try to answer as many of them questions as I can by application, by actually trying. Do not be surprised if I die a lot. Here we go, here's the last one. Once that's made, I'll set off another load and then we can off we can go. Right, let's... Oh, got to cancel that window. Let's take all. Let's go back to recipes. Uh, back to the chain trap. Select that, whack that back up. There we go, so that's another 15. Right, okay, while they're being made, let's now put the chain traps down in our weapon slot or primary tool slot and go find ourselves a goblin. 
I've not set the timer because simply I want to show this in detail so be aware that this episode could be long um, but you're always welcome to stop the video whenever you wish as you know okay now so you can see I've been putting down lots of lamps to try and light it all up so you'll be able to see this Right, okay, there is two goblins, but I want really to do one. Shall I try two? What do you think? Hmm, yeah, let's try two. These are, he is coming over here a bit. Let's see if I can get just one. Oh, well, it doesn't seem to want to do anything. No, that's just chucking it on the ground. That ain't no good. But, oh, wait a minute. It's because I've got that stupid window open. Because I have my inventory open. There we go. That's what I must do. So, one, two, three, four... And there we go. Press the space, tame. I got me a goblin. So, what was that? Uh, how many chain traps have I got left? It took five chain traps. This goblin is now tamed. Uh, so, let's do follow me. And let's see if we can get another goblin. How many goblins can we have? So, the moral of that little story is don't have your inventory window open. You won't be able to throw a trap. I'm glad I showed that. And I'm glad I made myself look like an idiot again, believe it or not. Best way for you to learn is through my mistakes. Okay, here's another goblin. Now I know what to do. Let's see if it's another five. Oh no, wait a minute. It's a few too many. And I don't, oh, here we go. There's one. You cannot have more creatures at this current level. Ah, so if we gain levels, <coughs> let's do my sword. I don't want to lose my goblin already. Wow, look how tough my goblin is. That is really cool. And he's regenerating his health. That is really fantastic. So, at what level can we get another goblin is the question. But that will be another episode. And it will be a good one. We'll find out. Um, let's have a bit of fun with this goblin. Yeah, let's take on a few. This sword is absolutely awesome, this um, bronze sword. Oh, need to get a bit closer. Okay, so, do I need to heal up? What have I got healing-wise? Let's just have a look. So, I've got some of them seps which you guys mentioned, which is a cheap source of food. I've got my strawberry desserts, of course, got a load of them, but I don't want to waste them. I don't need to use them. And my good old coffee. Um, Lady De Winter, you asked what key I press to eat. Well, as you can see down there with the hot bar, you've got numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, if I want to eat a sep, which is on the number eight hot bar, I just press the number 8 key and then that eats one, you see? So every time I press that number it will use that tool. So if I press number 7 it will eat the strawberry trifle. If I press 6 it will drink a coffee. And if I just stand here waffling I'm going to get attacked by loads of goblins. Oh, my poor goblin is getting a bit hurt. So, his health does regenerate back up, but there must be a way that I can heal him. Um, I guess I'm going to have to go back to the healing components. I'll have to look into that. It's quite quick though, his health regeneration. Lots of goblins have respawned, that's for sure. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's great having a companion, uh, especially when I can have more. Oh, look at that, and they even ch he even chases the creatures when they run off. Yeah, I like it. There is lots of goblins. Right, so, I'm going to need to gain more levels, aren't I? Because we want to find out um, exactly um, how, when we can get another goblin. So we're going to have two running around with me. So, Tame a Goblin was actually a quest which I've managed to complete. Um, let's have a look at this get new level, see what I need. So if we go to the characteristics, next level... For the next level, I make a tailor table, that's done. Get one more piece of the force of nature. So that's what I'll need to do. I'm going to need to do this other quest first. Get one more piece of the force of nature. If we bring up the map... Oop, didn't like that. Did not like me bringing up the map. There we go, right. So, the next force piece of force of the nature is right over there so let's get to this teleport and see if I can progress a little in that direction um, the closest portal will be my one in the base and also we can test if my uh, tamed goblin will travel with us through the teleport um, which direction am I going in I want to go that way yeah, let's do a little experiment to see if the goblin will, the tamed goblin will teleport with me. Okay, so let's go to the northwest. Yep, he teleports with us just fine. Oh yeah, and I put this teleport by a load of ore. Okay, which direction do we have to go in that way? Now the cr creatures are getting nastier by the way. Um, and I don't mean just by a fox. I mean, there's ones that can poison scorpions, I think it was, I encountered. Uh, I have made some herbal tea, which gets rid of poison. Oh, I just missed that fox. Alright, the fox is gone. Good luck to him. Alright, let's press number 8, eat myself another set, get some food back, check the direction. It's going this way. Now if I can, I want to keep a wall either side of me. As in, sunflowers that side to stop critters attacking. Oh, here we go. Fox and goblin. Okay, so let's just check the direction. 
Well, it's night time now. I better end this episode here. I don't know how long I've been recording. Um, I've done what I wanted to do, show taming of the goblin. Uh, we now know that you can teleport with him. In the next episode, we're going to be heading off to this other shard of nature. And something tells me that this one is not going to be as easy as the last one. Uh, not that the last one was that easy, because there was about five or six creatures around it. But I imagine, through what someone else said in the comments... Oh, what is attacking me? Yeah, I imagine what someone said in the comments, they had about 25 goblins, or was it 50? Anyway, I imagine that's what it's going to be like for me at the next Force of Nature shard. But... I shall do that, continue that in the next episode. What I want to do is put down a load of lamps so we can see when it gets to night time. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.